from the University of Washington shows California will see the worst on April 28th. That's the projected date for when California hospitals will exhaust all resources to keep people alive. Right now, there's some good news for Californians. Current projections show there is not a shortage of hospital beds in the state. In fact, there could be an excess of nearly 14,000 beds across California. But there's a warning when it comes to ICU beds. Right now in the state, projections show 1,900 ICU beds are needed. We have only 93 extra ICU beds. This is concerning for health officials up and down the state, including in Kern County. That's why they're working hard to add more beds. The most limited resource is ICU beds, so each of us have identified a way to grow ICU beds. Uh, most of those will happen in the post-anesthesia care unit where we typically care for patients uh, of this significant disease. Uh, ventilators uh, have been acquired, uh, beds are being acquired, um, IV poles, IV pumps, all the necessary elements uh, to handle this surge of patients. Projections show more people dying in California than previously thought. Data shows 122 people dying each day in the state. By August, 5,100 Californians could lose their life to the disease. That's nearly 900 more than data showed on Monday. If trends continue, the number of cases and deaths being reported today will be the same on May 26th on the other side of the curve. That's 55 days from now, later than previously thought. I'm Alex Fisher for 17 News.